Okay, so this is how technically we you did it exactly the way you should do it as a facilitator. You come to the meeting, hopefully at least five minutes early. It makes us nervous if we don't have someone there five minutes early. But um, uh, as a rule, I would I would come to the meeting about ten minutes early to set things up to make sure that you've got your panelists, your students, that they're all connected. We're in what we call the green room. And well, we're, we're actually at this point, we're actually broadcasting. So if somebody comes to the, that meeting site, they would hear us discussing and they would see what's on our screens right now. Um, but before I went live, before we started the recording, we were in the green room. And the green room is a great place to check people's microphones, just as we did with Jess. And those instructions that I gave to Jess, for example, she had a little bit of an echo. You can get rid of that echo by using the mute button. And we need to tell the panelists how to do that uh, before the meeting. All of these meetings, all of these uh, rehearsal meetings are all recorded and you'll be getting a listing of all of those meetings. So if you want to go back and look at the recording and remember how things work, uh, we're happy to have you do that. Uh, so today what we're going to do is make sure that you're comfortable making changes to the slides. Uh, we'll show you the process of looking at the slides, and also I'm going to ask you, hopefully one or two or perhaps all three of you, uh, make changes to the slides so that you can uh, fine-tune them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to share my screen, and the reason I, I sort of warn you about that is that it is a technically somewhat somewhat difficult uh, process technically. So I'm going to go ahead and start screen sharing. Okay, and right now what you should see, crossing my fingers, whether or not you can see it, is the Katadia Welsh webcast folder on Google Docs. And what that folder has is it has a listing of uh, just only four meetings. It has a, a discussion meeting, and then you can see in light blue, there are three meetings. We had a meeting on uh, May 18th and also on May 24th, and then we have a meeting today, 6-1-2016. Uh, Let me know. Um, I'm going to go round robin when I do these things to make sure that everyone sees things properly. So let's start with Robert. Do you see those slides? I do. Slide sets. Great. Christine? Yes, I do. Excellent. Jess? Yeah, I <laughs> yes, Jess, so let me tell you about, uh, and unfortunately, I'm going to find out if there's a way that we can turn off that indication that your line is muted, your line is unmuted, uh, because that it's it's kind of annoying, and we'll figure out a way to. In fact, I need to write myself a note for these things. Um, unmuted. Turn off. Okay. Um, and so that's great. And so uh, yes, you can see that, Jess. I'm imagining that she's saying yes. She typed yes. Okay, excellent. <laughs> excellent. Go ahead, Jess. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So let's uh let's go ahead and continue at this point. And so the slides that we're going to be dealing with today, and now obviously uh in June, we're only going to have four sets of slides for June. Um, in, uh, when we start the eight week program, there are going to, going to be 40 sets of slides. Welcome back, J Jess. Do you need to say something to me? Okay. She's just getting back set in organized in the, in the meeting. So what we'll have is we'll have 
eight weeks of slides and the way we're going to organize them, because that's going to be a lot, a lot to look at is I'm actually going to turn. I'm not going to worry about it right now um, is we organize each week by color. Now, this is not true for the training slides, but each week you'll see a different color for each week. So they'll be lined up in different colors so you can pretty quickly go to the week that you're looking for and find the individual meeting that you're looking for. So then what we do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on 6-1 and this is called the slate, and it the slate is just basically a, um, an index of what is in this particular slide. This particular slide is for June 1st, uh, Wednesday. It has the time. It has the, the times on there. You'll see also uh, the meeting link, which takes you to, uh, to the meeting launch page. So you could print these out with PD in PDF. And when you print them out or, or put them on your computer as a PDF, these links are still live. So you'll be able to use those links if you'd like. We also do have a time zone converter on each set of slides so that people can make sure they're in the right time zone. And this is true also for the presenters. So when somebody presents, they, uh, they have all of this information in front of them to, uh, to present. Um, then the next slide is the listing of who is going to be presenting. So today is a training session, so I'm taking charge here, but we'll have the students, um, the individual students listed uh, for each of the activities. And we can also list, if you would like, uh, the email address um, of the individuals on those pages. And the other thing that we do is you'll notice over on the entry and exit chimes are off. Excellent. Thank you for whoever did that. I was going to do that, but I couldn't get to the, the button. Um, so the when you the confirmed is used like this. The confirmed means that those students or those facilitators have confirmed that they are going to be doing that meeting. So what happens is the students will say, I'll do a meeting on Wednesday, June 8th. Um, and that's great. But what we have to do is connect with them and make sure that they're really doing that meeting. So we send them a, a confirmation email and we can it, we confirm when one of us confirms when one of us confirms with that student, you can go to the slides and you can change pending to confirmed or complete. Okay, confirmed is probably better. And then each of the students also, they, they share one of their activities. So if Christine is going to be doing the song activity, we send Christine an email message and we say, Christine, did you do the song activity? Yes, I did. Where, where is your song activity? You can send it to me via email. You can um, post it in the online course and just let me know that it's posted in the online course. You can post it in social media and just let us know where it is in social media, if it's on Facebook and the group, et cetera. We can find those. And then when we find them, we can copy them and put them on the slide. When we do that, we make this file, this side complete. Okay. So that's, that's how it works. That's exactly how it works. The students are responsible for putting together their own presentation. We as facilitators, and I'm including myself here because I will be very much involved in this as well, is we work with them to get their activity actually put on the slides. Um, and then what will happen too is sometimes you're only going to have three students that have volunteered, or you only have three students that have a presentation. At that point, you're in charge. You, your options are these. You could skip the presentation. So in other words, if you're going through the, the, the session and you come up on short story and there's no short story, 
you could say, today we have no volunteer for a short story. It would be great if we did, but we need you to volunteer, the people who are listening to this session, to volunteer in order to make the program work. That's one option. The other option is to say, um, I have a short story I'm going to share. Or perhaps the assistant facilitator has a short story to share. Or perhaps you have a friend who wants to speak Welsh with a group that they could share a story. So in other words, as the facilitator of the meeting, uh, you're in complete control over what activities happen and how they happen. The best thing to do is to go in order of these activities. And the activities are fairly broad. So you could do a lot of different things with these with these activities, but we try to keep them consistent for the participants sake. I'm going to stop there and do a little round robin uh, uh, just to ask if there are any questions because I've covered actually kind of a lot at this particular point. So I'll start with um, Jess. Jess, can you speak? Can you hear us, Jess? The well, last no, message look. was that she'd lost sound and she's trying to rejoin. Okay. And I have to tell you that that's one of the important reasons we have two facilitators because te technical problems happen. <laughs> and so it's, 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 it's called redundancy. So we have a technical, technical issues that come up. And when technical issues come up, we just, we go with the flow because that's the way we have to do it. So Christine, uh, why, why, why don't you ha share with me any questions or concerns you have that you that have come up just in these short slides here? I'm okay so far. I don't know whether you'd realize, but I've been fiddling with this earlier on. And that's why- I'm Yes, I have. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. In fact, one of the things I'd like to do to challenge you to do now, Christine, is to see if you can open another window and go ahead and go to this document in Google Docs. It has been shared with you, so you may re have received a uh, uh, notice that um, that the the folder was shared with you. So feel free to go in there and see if you can get into this Google Doc simultaneously. We'll see your so Google Docs your is name. my it, it is on Google Drive, right? That's correct. So if and you go to Google there. Drive right now, you should see in the shared. Google Drive shared, you should see a directory called web. Uh, yeah. Let's see, is it called? I do web have meetings? it. Oh, excellent. Oops, I don't know what I did there. Okay, great. So go ahead and see if you can connect to it. And Robert, why don't you go ahead and do that at the same time? Yep, and I'm doing it now. Questions are... Excellent. Excellent. There we've got Christine. You can see a, a very small little photograph up here in the corner that says Christine's uh, name. That's great, excellent. And we'll get um, Robert in there as well. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Jess, if you can hear me, Jess, there is another option, which I'm happy to have you try if you would like. And this is also an option for presenters. If someone has a technical problem they can click on the more at the top of the screen, the three dots that say more. And what they can do is switch to your phone. Now, there are some issues with, related to that. The first is uh, international dialing is available. So you could find a telephone number that may be in your area code. If you do that, you don't have any toll charges. But if you're using a phone that does collect toll charges, meaning all attendees you, are muted and may unmute themselves by pressing star six. Okay, I don't. I, that's that's good. It's all right to know that you're that you've got that control. You can do just about anything you would like to do as a presenter. So do be a little bit careful of that. We'll need to tell others to do that as well. So Robert, Where did you, that are come you... from? Did you do that? No, I would imagine it might have been Jess. She's perhaps working with her audio, trying to figure oh. things out. Yeah. Robert, are you able to get into the slides? 
Yep, I'm there. It's just um, I'm just moving a little slowly right now. Okay. Okay, that's great. All right. Well, then, uh, and Robert, you have no real concerns after what we've talked about here so far? No, not, not Excellent. this time. Excellent. Now, Christine and Robert and, and Jess and anyone who's listening to this recording, one of the things that's really important here to realize is this is a logistical nightmare to do a program like this because you have students in multiple time zones. They're joining a web conference, which some of them have never really been in a web conference before. Um, there's Robert. I see you in the in the Google Docs at this point. That's fantastic. So this page is vitally important to help us communicate with each other and to make sure that we're facilitating the entire group um, in an organized fashion. So it starts with the slides for the day of the meeting. And so we can plan these meetings out. We could plan all eight weeks out uh, in, the, in the next month and have all of the eight, eight weeks all done. I, it's not going to happen, but we could do that if we wanted to. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and, and what I'd like to do is um, I'm going to just show you how to change the slide. And then what I'm going to do is ask both Christine, and if we can get Jess in, I would love that as well, um, Christine and Robert to actually change a slide. So at this point, I'll go forward and just point out that we have the meeting che checklist. It's, again, something that you can look at to make sure you've got everything set up for your meeting. Um, and since this is a training session, we have this, but we're, you don't need to know this. The promotional meetings are happening in June. Um, they are all scheduled, and I did send the email. I emailed the schedule of meetings in June. Feel free to attend as a as a facilitator. You can attend all of them if you would like. Uh, you will be paid if you're attending at the uh, secondary facilitator rate. If you ha have been assigned to be the facilitator, you'll be paid at the primary facilitator rate. Um, as many of you know, we set up a new website. Um, I'm uh, Robert did send me a little bio. Um, you'll notice that the bios are pretty thin. I just basically said they're a Welsh speaker from so and so region of the world. Uh, so feel free to to look at that site and let me know if you would like to change anything on that site. You could change the pho photograph. You could change the bio. You could change anything you would like. Ultimately, we're going to have the primary facilitator identified for each of the sessions in the eight-week sessions. So as we get the schedule built, which will happen in the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll be changing each facilitator so that people can look ahead and figure out exactly who is a facilitator at which time. Uh, this is really just for me. I uh, won't talk about this. Social media, I do want to talk about a little bit because if if you're a tweeter or a Facebook poster, it will help. Um, uh, you, you've noticed that I try to put out a little Facebook posting before we start a meeting. And we'll also put out a little Facebook or Google Plus or Twitter posting after a meeting as well. And the two postings that we use is one is that, um, that multiple choice ABCD kind of image and I'll do them, but I, I would encourage you if you like to do that kind of stuff to, to just give a quick post out there for, uh, for when a meeting starts. You could even just say, you know, I'm, I'm going to be host, I'm going to be facilitating today. I, I hope everybody comes in and joins in. And you say it in Welsh because feel free to say it in Welsh. I'm not going to say it in Welsh. Ask, so, you know, any of these posts now, you're looking to have them um, in both languages? Yeah, ultimately, it's really best to have them in both languages because we have to assume that most people are uh, working on their language. So yes. it would be perhaps good to start with the Welsh and then ha have a little bit more of a descriptor in English as well. I will likely just post in English because that's that's my situation. Mm -hmm. oh, 
All righty. So then um, let's see here. Then we start the meeting. Um, and, and these slides are all, you're going to get so tired of these slides. I have to tell you, it's unfortunate, but you're going to get tired of these slides. However, for the participants, some of them will have, have seen them for the first, second, or third time. In a foreign language, if we give them that familiarity, and this pattern is familiar, they will be more comfortable over time. So don't, don't, don't get too tired of them. Pretend like they're the first time you've ever seen the slides, but they're all gonna be exactly like that. Um, and this is all done in English. And then right here, this slide is your cue, and it says no more English in red. This is your cue to start the meeting over in Welsh. And uh, to begin to give people cues to what you're saying by reading the Welsh and not reading the English, but let them re read the English if they want to. The first little activity is our Duolingo activity, and this will change each meeting. We're actually setting these up right now. Um, and so you know how that works. We just encourage them to type into the chat window. And then, of course, we say hello. These are all, these slides are all the same, except that we change the participant to pers participants who were there. Um, you know, how are you? Where are you? What's the weather like? What time is it in your lo location? Do you have any pets? You know, lots of different questions will pop up there. And then we also have um, uh, the making sure they have the guide, making sure they understand the activities that are there. We ask them which activities they've done. And then we give the, the instruction. So none of those slides change. All of those slides up to this point are exactly the same for each meeting, except the people change. That's it. So the template slides are pretty easy to put together. But then you'll notice we come up on the activity. And this is what changes, and this is what we need to change each time. So let's say, for example, song, we're going to name, you know, um, Sunrise. Oh, no. Uh, give me a name in Welsh. So like sun, Sunrise or give me a name of uh, Beautiful Day. Oh, maybe I'm going to have one of you guys do this. Who's, who's on this slide? Uh, go to the same slide as me, either Christine or or um, or Robert, and just type in some name of pretend like a song name in there. Michael, I, I, I thought I changed these. And I put a song in. Uh, well, we're not on the same. We, you must be. No, you're in this presentation. Right. But before the presentation started, I thought I'd gone online and shared it. And Let's, figure, Let's figure out where it is. Because I could see it on my Google Drive. Uh -huh. in my documents, and I put it in the shared folder, I thought. And when I looked, I didn't see one named 2016-06-1. Oh, yeah, that's... <clears throat> and I think I yeah, have that's one. There you go, Robert. Robert's doing it. Excellent. Okay, perfect. And then uh, uh, just change the name. Just change the name to Robert. Just this is all practice. So, Robert, go ahead and change where it says name in red. Change that to Robert. So we've got several. And um, and Christine, if you would, by chance, see, I think it's probably an earlier presentation. So you could look in one of the other presentations and see if you can copy the song lyrics or whatever to put into a slide here.
So it's in my drive. It's under my name and my folder. Okay. Now, if you could, Christine, go ahead and open those slides and go to the song. And if you could copy, actually, you could copy the slide and then you can come back here and we can paste it in right after this slide. Okay. Excellent. And then you can see that we have an image from the video. It's a nice to have to have an image from the video. If let's say, for example, it's really difficult to get this together. Uh, if you don't have the time to get an image from the video, then we don't have an image from the video. But what I would do, for example, is if there's a video on YouTube for this song, I would play the song and I would take just a screen capture of an interesting photograph or an interesting image from the song, and I would paste it uh, on the slide. Uh, you can see I also did. that we have... On, on yours? I put the link for the YouTube. So how do I copy the slide? Okay, so, so do you have... Did you this. copy the slide? Did you copy the slide? You, if you copied the slide, then what you can do is you can come back to this presentation and go to slide number 35 and you can insert, a, you can go file, paste, file, or I'm sorry, edit, paste, and it will paste the slide in right after this slide. So am I inserting another slide? Yes, insert. Did it not work for you, Christine? Oh, there we go. Here it is. Yay. From, from, from a city near Toronto, Canada to this, to this spot. Okay, that's great. I see the slide there. Okay, so excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and change. And this is perfect. Oh my God, I can't wait for this webcast. It's gonna be so much fun. Look at that photograph. So you can see it's, it's pretty simple. Um, what we do is is we get these and and Christine and Robert and Jess uh, and all facilitators that are listening to this, we will need to occasionally give them examples. So doing these little activities uh, for your session is probably a good idea, especially if you have only four presenters and you don't have a particular activity, feel free to create a little activity like this uh, because this is perfect, Christine. This is absolutely perfect. Just for fun, would you go ahead and share the lyrics to the song? So I have a YouTube there so I don't have to sing. No, you do not have to sing. The YouTube, let me tell you about that too, because it's a little confusing. It's a little confusing. The The meeting is not meant to play the song. What we are doing is we're just getting them interested to go to YouTube and listen to the song. So you have the link there really as a way to encourage them to go off and listen to the song themselves. So, but would you read the uh, the lyrics for us? So this is a children's nursery rhyme. And it's Daiki Bach and Bindir Koid, Eskid Newid and Borg Droid. Daiki Bach and Duadadra, Wedi Kofi, Nuno Skitia. Daiki Bach. I nearly sang it because I only know it's when I sing it. 
<laughs> that is so so you have it memorized. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. I've been singing that since I since since I was like two or three years old. <laughs> oh, isn't that great? And I do that it with my so grandchildren wonderful. now here in Canada. Oh, that is so wonderful. Well, and you see, uh, oh, Christine and Robert and Jess, and, and again, any facilitator listening to the recording, this is part of the magic of this type of approach to learning. I told some of you at the beginning, and I hate to keep saying this, but I'm I'm probably not going to be your strongest learner of, of <laughs> okay, but... I am going to be attracted to all of this because of this kind of sharing. This is a social experience and people are not, they're not focused on learning the language. They're focused on just simply communicating with each other and communicating things that are fairly personal and social. It's really, uh, it sucks you in. You can't, you can't resist it. So it's really wonderful for you to do that. So that's great. Um, I think at this point, I'm going to ask if there are any questions, because quite honestly, we have done what we needed to do today. Uh, Robert uh, filled in the, I'll go back over here. Robert filled in the uh, the, the section of the, the slide and Christine put the uh, the slide together. Uh, Jess, are you able to speak at all? Oh, Les looked like she tried to do the phone. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, stop screen sharing and we'll go back to the meeting. And uh, we'll just do just a little bit of um, uh, just checking in to see if everything is okay. Um, uh, Christine and Robert, I, I'm, I frankly think you guys are ready to go. Um, I, I know that it's going to be a little rough and that's the reason we're going to do some sessions in June and in June, it's going to be okay for us to switch back and forth a little bit between English and, and Welsh. So I will be a part of each one of those meetings. If there's a question, feel free to share a question. Uh, we're going to call those meetings demonstration meetings so that people understand that they're not the real thing. Um, they're actually ways for us to practice as well so that you feel comfortable doing that. But we will invite people to present um, in those sessions as well. So, so can I ask, uh, Michael? So yes. I put that presentation to you. I fiddled with the presentation and changed it and did some things. If I and I thought I'd shared it with the group because there was a, a, on the top right it said share, but and then I moved it into my folder. I'm guessing so I need to where, which folder do I need to have it in on my Google Drive to ensure yeah. everybody can see yeah. it? And then I'm guessing once I have that, I need to know how to put that share that onto the computer with everybody into the um the session yeah and actually i'm going to go back to screen sharing because i want to make to emphasize this uh as well as i can the you're looking and you should right now be looking at my google drive for right. my account okay this this uh this folder is shared with everyone in all of the facilitators. So we don't want you to create slides outside of this folder. What we'll do, you don't need to create any slides. What I will do is I will create the template for the next session. So for example, right here, what I'm going to do is I'll go make a copy And then what we're gonna do is rename this. Our next session is the 8th, right? June 8th, I think. I'm it looks sure like June 8th was canceled. Uh, oh, is that right? It looks the like it's blocked, you, blocked off on the, um, on, on the calendar. Uh, does anyone know the next, what is the next date? I think it's the 15th. 15th. 
Okay, so then what we do is we're, we'll rename this the 15th. And so now if you want to make changes, make change, you don't need to make a new set of slides. Just go to this folder and you can insert the activities directly into these slides. Does that right, make so sense, that's, Christine? That's, that's all I did. Well, no, it sounds like what you did was actually create a new presentation. Well, yes. So what I did, I copied the 24th of May one and saved uh, saved it as June the, June the 1st and then worked in that one. And then I shared it. Yeah, I would I would actually recommend that you don't don't need to make a copy of the slides. Let right. Well, it was just me trying to fiddle and trying to learn how. To, right. How to no, you, you. I'm so happy that you did that, Christine. This is no criticism of you oh, whatsoever no, no. because no, no. it's fantastic. But in the in what I would like to do is to suggest to all of the not suggest. This is the process. I will make a template for each web meeting. Right. In June, I'll go ahead and make a template for each meeting in June, and then we'll start making um, all of the, basically it's 40 web meetings, just so you're all aware of what's what's coming up here. We've got 40 <laughs> web meetings coming up. Um, and so we'll make templates for each of those 40 web meetings. And all we need to do is just what we did in the meeting today. You go into that particular meeting, and you go to the section of the meeting that needs to be changed, which is in red. All of the rest of the slides stay essentially the same, except we will change the facilitators and, and we'll also change the participants uh, for the meeting. Oh. We'll also change the participants for the meeting and and we'll also change then then we we only change the uh the, the the activity and we get that activity information from the from these students and the participants so the changing of the activities they, they will get sent be sent to us as the facilitator and then we place those in the in this template ready for when we do Ex that session exactly exactly and you may have someone who says well gosh you know i can't present tomorrow or today but they can present two weeks from now in fact we need to start encouraging people to if do you would you like maybe you have a friend who wants to maybe you have a relative who wants to speak welsh um and, and join in this group um they may be able to do something like the 15th of, Ju of July, you could go ahead and put their activity in the 15th of July and have everything ready to go by that yes. point. Okay. 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 Robert, any uh, last questions from you? Um, yeah, I'm curious. So the slides are in Google Docs and are we going to be, are we going to be showing them from our desktop? Is that the, the command we'll use there at the top, the desktop command to show them? Or are they going to be loaded somehow into this program? You are so great because that is one thing that I had on my agenda to cover and I didn't cover it. So what I'm going to do is ask you, can you go back into this slide set? Um, oh, you're probably in the one on the, on the first. Hold on. Okay, so yes, you're on the one on the first. So here's what you do. I'll talk you through this so that you can see exactly how it works. And I'm going to ask uh, Robert. Are you are you in the slide deck for the the first that we have on the screen right now? Yeah, I'm still there. Okay, so there you see. I see you now. Yep. I see you. I see you. Okay, go to file and download as a PDF. So what you need okay. to do is to download the the slides, and this happens. Frankly, it happens about an hour before or half hour before the meeting starts. Um, okay. So, so you can give it a quick review, see what's happening in the meeting, and um, then you download the, the slides as a PDF to your computer. Okay. All right. Then once that's happened, and if you've done that, what you do now is mm -hmm. I'm, going to, I'm going to stop screen sharing 
so that you can do this because you can't do this while I am screen sharing. And you are listed as a presenter. So okay. what, what you can do is go to the top of the screen where it says more, the three dots and where it says more. And what you do is share slides. Click on share slides. Okay, so I see more where? Up at the top of the screen. In Google Docs? Oh, no, on the webcasting platform. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, did, yeah, okay, there I see the three dots. All right. Excellent. Okay. Then the action, what is it, the share slides? And then go to share slides. All right. And then, then what you'll do choices. is upload the uh, PDF that you just saved to your computer. Okay. All right, let me just, I just have to move that to where I can actually get to it. I understand. <laughs> so take, take your time. You're, you're doing great, Robert. You're doing great. Christina, do you, do you have a good sense of what we're doing here? Oh, yes, I understand completely, yeah. Excellent, excellent. All right, so 2016-61 PDF. All right, let me get that on the desktop where I can actually find it, because I can never, I have, I run on a Mac, and Macs are really <laughs> good about finding things when you look for yep. them, yep. but they're not when you, they're not good when you're not I understand Mac stuff. You I understand completely. So when we right. so about an hour before the presentation is due, when we right. download the PDF, we're like setting it so that it can't be changed. Exactly. And then we're then sharing it through this medium that you're showing us now. Exactly. So everybody can see it. Exactly. And we know where, 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 where we're going. So, it, okay. Yeah. No, That's no, no, no. It. I do something very similar to with the online course that I already know. Right. Then, um, now, Robert, you, you, after you upload it, what will happen is it will encode the presentation and it saves the presentation to the server. And then you'll notice it says, you probably have a box on your screen that says, what presentation would you like to share? And you've already uploaded it. But what you need to do now is click on the 2016-61 PDF and when you click on that, you'll see a button that says open presentation. So you click on open presentation and that will open the presentation for everyone in this meeting. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there it is. It's preparing now, it says. Yeah. It, and it takes a little bit of time. Um, and it is, they are a fairly big, big presentation. So... Um, it is something that we need to do. Okay. So, yeah, before obviously uh, quite a, you know, maybe I, I probably would start about 15 minutes before just to make sure that everything's set. Right. Um, right. So share download link, yeah? Yes, please. Oh, oh no. Not share download link. What you do is click on the presentation oh, and then click on op open presentation. Look okay. at that. Oh, I can see what's happening. <laughs> now I'd like you to go forward to the song activity. What, <laughs> isn't that great? That's awesome, well done, Robert. Well done, Robert. So go ahead well, and go to... It's still coming, I'm at 97%, oh, okay. so. Yeah, mine, mine actually. Oh, I got an error, there was an error loading the document. Oh no! Why well, it's gonna be an error. <clears throat> it came up on ours. So what yeah. I would do uh. is if you have an error like that, what I would do is go back and share slides again. So go back to more. Okay. Click on the, the June 1st meeting. Wait, hold on. Let me get rid of the... Oh, no. Okay. All right. Do -do -do -do. Share slides. There it is. So since this file is already being shown, please select a different file. Okay. Um, and it's interesting because we do see it. Yeah. 
I um, have it, and I can actually go through. Oh, it's interesting. I, down here, it's I've got. Uh, that's weird. It says I've. Huh. Let's let me close all of that and try. Once. Yeah. Let me go yeah, back please, to that. Yeah, please do. That's that's the way to do it. Okay, it's 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 gone now. I don't have it. Yeah, so I think it. I I think Robert closed it. Yeah, also I did. Because I I had a slide presentation, you know, stuff at the bottom. That... I have it back. Me too. You see it, Robert? Did I get bumped out? Oh, no. I hear you. That's all right. We How very you. weird. And that's, that's okay, Robert. It's we're very impressed. You you did it. Well, I can have it. Whether but whether you can see it or not, Robert, I can we, have. Well, and there again is one of the reasons we. This is a two. This is a two person operation. Uh, go write more, one more song. So there you go. Uh, so in the recording, Robert, you'll see that your slides turned out great. They were uploaded, and we can see them, and it's fantastic. And then, and Michael, so as I'm clicking through, can you see me clicking through the slides? I can't reload it. Yes, so I see you're on the puppy slide right now. Right, okay. Yeah. So, because I wasn't sure, so I'm, so, and you can then manipulate it as well. So anybody who's a facilitator, once it's been yeah. shared and put up, can click through and do, because you could actually click back to where Robert wrote, wow. That's that correct? correct. That is correct. Yeah. So you could do that and go back there. Now that, yeah. but anybody who is participating in our facilitated session. Yeah, they're they're not they're not. Walk. Yeah, they're not to have control. Uh, right. <clears throat> it's a it's a. It, it, I say that with a little bit of a, a footnote because, depending on how they connect to the meeting. It is possible that some of them may have to, just to get them to participate in the meeting, may have to be given uh, presenter privileges. And if that happens, sometimes they can control the slides. So if you see the slides kind of going off by themselves, you might okay. say, I'm going to be controlling these slides. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, but I'm going to be involved in these meetings, so I, I will technically I'll be there to help you with those kinds of things. Alrighty. So for the next meeting on the 16th, you've already put a template together. Yes. Can we all go and put um, certain pieces in, and then whoever is facilitating that can go through it and upload exactly. it and all that kind of yep. thing? Yep, oh, that's I'm so it. Like two weeks. We are, we've got two weeks to do it. We've got enough time. And I think, do I have, let me look at my schedule. Who did I schedule you and Robert to be the facilitators for that meeting? Um, you scheduled uh, me as a primary this time. Oh, that's good. Uh, Which is why I was trying where... to manipulate the slides so I was ready. Well, you are doing great. And let me just see if. Uh, where, hmm. uh, let's see, where is the, here it is. Let me find out who I had scheduled. Oh, that's, I'm sorry. Uh, when you try to do things quickly, it's not such a good thing. Let's see. Oh, facilitator, facilitator schedule. I have Robert Jones and Jess on the 15th. Okay, right. <clears throat> So let's look at this. Let me see. Uh, so the fifteenth, yeah, Robert. So Robert, you're going to be primary. Um, yeah, I think. Um, you know, uh, I may change this around a little bit, Christine. I'm I'm actually. Uh, let's, uh, I may work with the schedule just a little bit, but it, I think unless I get, if I don't get a confirmation from Anna, I will likely put you in there, um, Christine, and okay. I'll let you know before we get too close. So, so thank 
If Robert is the primary facilitator for the 15, how do I say I put a some information together as a student for him to include in his presentation? How do I send that to him? The way you do it is with that little index at the very beginning. So right here at the very beginning, there. So what we do is, let's say, for example, Christine, that you, uh, you want to pretend like you're a student. You could say, I'll do the story, and you could put your name, you could just put your name in there. Okay, the same as I did with the song this, this Exactly, week. exactly. But notice that we'd also, we want to change confirmed to confirmed, because you, you okay. scheduled yourself and you're, you're going to confirm yourself. And then when you put the activity into the slides, change pending to complete. So you want me to put what, I, what I'm putting in the presentation. Right. Of Robert for him to put it in as if it's doing exactly. Things. So no we problem. use we use this sheet, uh, this uh, index at the beginning of right. the slides as our communication tool to figure out who's done what and when, what things are done and what things aren't done. Okay. Robert, any last questions before we leave? Uh oh, maybe we lost Robert. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> Do we have Jess? I think it's just the two of us, Christine. Again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Well, I really oh, want so to. I'm so, so glad that we sorted it all out that Robert's going to do everything and he's <laughs> here to say he's not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It'll be great, Christine. Well, thank you so much. And uh, I think you... you're great. And Robert will will figure things out. It'll, oh, it'll be sure. fine. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very, right, very good. Let me know if you have questions. Uh, we're, I think, on our way. Okay. Down okay. Down. Good afternoon. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye.